Colorado Springs is not known as a food mecca in the food mecca space. However, there are a few gems. And here at Explore Colorado Springs, we've decided it pro the number one question that we get asked from people when they're moving to Colorado Springs or just coming to visit is like, yo, do you have any good recommendations for where I should go eat? And I actually came in here, my first experience was an out-of-state client that was like, let's go to Jackson. He was from the coast. So I was like, uh, okay, sounds great. So we had such a good experience that we reached out and here we are at Jack's Fish House and Oyster Bar on Tejon Street. And uh, I've got the privilege and the honor and the great blessing of being with Juan, the head chef, uh, who invited us into his space. And so we just wanna, we, we really want to not only highlight the, the food aspect and show you guys that this place is super legit and it's like one of the top tier places in Colorado Springs, but also, man, there's such good story and history in not only this particular location, but in the Big Red F companies as a whole. Big Red F is who owns Jack's Fish House and Oyster Bar. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit. We're gonna get you some exclusive. So we're here when the shop is closed before hours and we're getting like our own private little soiree. I don't even know what that word means, but our own little yeah. soiree yeah, yeah. through Jack's and uh, we're super excited. So this is Juan. First off, yeah. how did you get into, how did you become a head chef? Like, where, was this like a long passion? Cause I see you have a, a tattoo of a yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually got this when I was in the military, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, actually before this, I was a, a chef. We had a couple food trucks, my buddy and I in Texas. Really? So, yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I, since I was young, I've always wanted to become a chef, you know? Yeah. So uh, I went to the military to go to culinary school after, right? Ended up just skipping that, starting a food truck, you know? Oh, wait, okay, so tell me about the food truck, so. Yeah. So we had, um, the first food truck we had was a breakfast food truck we would do for like a bunch of construction workers. It was like a thousand people going in, a thousand people coming out. So it was, Holy yeah, cow. it was like one in the morning to like eight in the morning and then we're done for the day and then we would do dinner after that. So it, it was crazy hours. Yeah, I yeah. feel like we could do a whole video on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love breakfast trucks and I've, I love places that have a lot of food trucks and I've noticed we're starting to get yeah, more here in Colorado big. Springs yeah, yeah. Um, sure. on the spot. Do you have a favorite food truck in Colorado Springs yet? No, I haven't. I haven't really been to any. I, I've been mostly just dining around restaurants just to meet the chefs. So, so when we go, food. we'll we'll do a whole series mm -hmm. on best be food awesome, trucks yeah. in Colorado Springs. We'll take one. Yeah, because that'd be awesome. he's got like the inside on you know what's good. <laughs> so, okay, so so you did the breakfast truck, mm -hmm. and then did you have any others? Uh, then we had a, a, a like a taco truck that we had for dinner. Yeah, it was a uh, pretty. That, that was pretty legit tacos there. Were you running both at the same time? Yeah, here and there. A little bit of yeah, overlap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you'd run the breakfast in one. The morning, would sleep a couple hours, and then run dinner, and then sleep a couple hours, and then run breakfast again. Dude, yeah, that's it was, awesome. It was a lot of hours, but it was fun. Okay, so that was kind of your first experience in the, like being a professional. Yeah, yeah. I've worked in, in restaurants since I was younger. Sure. Right, uh, but like to be an actual professional in that, yeah, that was the first time. Ah, oh, that's so yeah. cool. Okay. And then, then what happened? Uh, I wanted to move here because I, when I was stationed here in Fort Carson and uh, my buddy didn't want to move. So we decided to sell the company and we, we just split up, right? And uh, moved back over here with my wife and kid. Okay. And then I actually started here as a shucker. Oh. Yeah, shucked for, for a few months. A shucker. Yeah, yeah. What is a shucker? So we shuck oysters. We shuck uh, sometimes a lot. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So the most I've done is like 750. I was like just about hours. to ask that. God. Yeah, yeah. It, it was on National Oyster Day, which we just passed, I think, like a month ago. Okay. Yeah. Does that like, does that wreck your hands? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had like a catalyst and it was hurting. Like <laughs> towards the end, I was just like, I was oh, like, oh. Yeah, even the easy ones I could barely open. But okay, it was fun. so so you moved up here and you you apply, you come in, you start working as a shucker, mm -hmm. knowing that you wanted to go to the kitchen yeah, eventually. I knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, how did that process work? Um, it was just as and easy. And also, as why Jacks? Uh, well, I was just looking in, in restaurants uh, in the Colorado Spring area, okay. and uh, Big Red F came up actually. And I was I looked into the website. The website pretty interesting, pretty awesome. Uh, if you want to go bigredf.com, it was it was it was cool. Yeah. Okay, actually, okay. So we're gonna yeah. Tell us about Big Red F. Sure. So that we know, because I think that's the second or third time we said it. So yeah. what is Big Red F? Who is? Sure. Yeah. So Big Red F is uh, the food group that 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 Jax is part of. Uh, okay. Dave Query is the the owner of Big okay. Red F. Uh, that he's he's in Boulder. Gotcha. That's actually where our first Jax starter was in Boulder. Um, Big Red F has like f man like four restaurants. It's Jax, and then we have Central Mexico. 
We have the Western Tavern, and then we have the Post Chicken, which hopefully we'll begin one here soon. Oh yeah, Post yeah. Chicken and Beer, right? Yeah, yeah. We're hoping to try to yeah. find one here. That'd be a good spot. And yeah. that one, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Jack's Fish House and Oyster Bar that's up in Denver is almost 30 years old. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, 1994, if is what I was told. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So that'll be that's yeah. that's crazy. I, I mean, if nothing else, if you don't know anything about starting up a business, running a business. That's hard enough in and of itself. Getting into the restaurant business yeah. and having it successful right. over a long period of time. And then what I find so fascinating about Big Red F, I would love to talk to Dave Carreri sometime because yeah, yeah. to not only be in the restaurant business and not just build more jacks or whatever the first one mm -hmm. was and just keep doing that, but it's like he understands the operations obviously well enough right. to make, yeah, sure, open another jacks down here in Colorado Springs. Sure. Thank you, Dave. And then also <laughs> open uh, post and right. and a Mexican place, right? Like yep. I find that that takes some high level skill. Yeah, yeah. He and it, you can tell when even when he comes in here, he's super passionate about everything, and he's like the best boss I've ever had. He, he's the owner, and he'll be washing dishes sometimes. You know, and bro, you don't have to say that just because he, he's going to see. No, the video. no, no. no he, he kicks butt. Listen, so Dave, that's awesome. not what he told me before <laughs> the video. So you reach out to me, I'll give you the scoop. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll see if we if he stays around. Okay, so shucking, you liked Big Red F, and then. And then how'd you get into the kitchen and become the head chef? Um, I started helping the head chef before me. Okay. He was, uh, you know, we needed a little help here and there. And I was just kind of, I was very passionate about it. And eventually he ended up moving back to where he was from. And uh, I stepped up, become the head chef. Yeah. And I think me having, owning the company before running that type of business, they, they kind of trusted me hopefully enough, you know? So, so in your style of cooking, would you say you're like uh Guy Fieri <laughs> personality or like a Gordon Ramsay personality? Like right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in okay. The middle. So not necessarily like a right, like right. a driver right. and like super rude and just like yeah, super yeah. intense. Yeah. But you can but you can turn it up. Sure. Yeah. Something. Have before. So, so yeah. did you go to culinary school then? No, no. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. What of we'll get into the menu and, and sure. some of that stuff in a little bit, but I gotta know right off the bat, like what is your favorite thing to make and present to people not for you to eat uh, but one that like you feel like you got a lot of pride when you yeah. build it up i would say honestly probably our lobster roll our lobster roll we've had here for the longest we've tried to change it i didn't even know you had some rolls. yeah yeah we have lobster rolls they're, they're super good yeah uh we've tried to like take it off the menu to replace it and people don't want it and they want the really lobster. yeah same with the calamari those are the two main ones okay so i don't know much about lobster rolls but i do know a lot about calamari sure you know, in my like five experiences <laughs> eating calamari, right. but I would love, I will try your guys' calamari. Wait, I have tried it. Oh, it is, yeah, think, it's super good. good. Yeah, yeah, I think Cause it's like big and yeah. meaty. Uh -huh. All right, we can end it there. You know the recommendation, <laughs> lobster rolls and calamari. Yeah. That's it. Okay, super rad. So do you guys do, so it sounds like you do seasonal yeah. menus, you yeah, change do, some stuff out? We do two large menu changes and then two smaller menu changes between like spring and fall and then okay. winter and uh, uh, summer. So did we? Yeah. Did you guys just change the menu? Yeah, we did like, uh, I think it's, we're on two weeks now. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on the spot. Do yeah. you know what, what are like the, the highlights for this new spring and summer season? I like okay. the spaghetti that we have. It's like ground shrimp and mushrooms like mixed together and it comes out like a, like a shrimp bolognese. It's super good. Um, I feel that way, some people don't, <laughs> but you know. Uh, our big seller right now would definitely, it's always the salmon and the halibut. Okay. Yeah, those are always kind of like our, you know, everyone feels safe eating salmon and, and halibut. Uh, I'm but, stuck on shrimp spaghetti. Yeah, and then the new the new mussels we have are like a green curry. It's a really, really bright green curry, very fresh. Wow. Yeah, those are good. Okay. Okay, so this is actually probably everybody's main first thought is like seafood in the Rocky <laughs> Mountains. Uh. So I have eaten here. And I know this, it, the reason that I'm willing to put my name on or the whole Explore Colorado Springs is because I've eaten here and it is quality. Yeah. And by the way, the guy that was out here was from San Diego. Right. And like, he was like, this is just as good as anything I've had right. on the coast, just as fresh. Do you know, are you in the know of like the process of like, where do they come from? What is the secret that separates you guys from like, I know your competition's not Red Lobster, but like right, right. you're not coming to just some place that's trying to do seafood. Like you right. guys are experts at seafood. Yeah, yeah no, uh, we definitely only get the freshest stuff. We everything comes in uh, fresh, not frozen, uh, for the most part, and uh, it's brought in pretty much every day. 
Oh, yeah. wow. We, we have it shipped in pretty much every day. Same with the oysters as well. Do you know where most of it is sourced from? Uh, different areas in the country. Okay. We, we use a, we use a third party uh, okay. who does it for us, but yeah, mo most of the stuff comes in fresh. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. And, and, and it, the flavor profile, I mean, totally agrees with that. Sure. Like, you can tell that difference when something's been frozen yeah, yeah. and then like, reconstituted yeah, or recooked or we, we cut we, we cut like fresh fillets every day wow yeah here's a wild question how many um how many pounds of, is that how you guys measure oysters like how many pounds uh, of oysters you the, go through or by a the, kilo by the sack it would be like 100 usually 75 to 100 per sack okay and then yeah. how big is a sack uh we'll have one yeah. pop up on the video here. yeah yeah we'll, we'll get one a sack of oysters okay and how many sacks of oysters there's gotta be a better word for that. How many sacks <laughs> bushel, of- Bushel, bushel. okay. Yeah. <laughs> How many bushels of oysters <laughs> um, do you guys go through like in a day, in a week? Uh, so we do, I'd say about 600 oysters a day. Usually that's how much we get brought in. Uh, on the weekends we do closer to like 500 of our house oysters, which are Cracker Jacks. Those are the ones that okay. are made just for us that you can only get at Jack's Fish House. Uh, we do like 500 of those, yeah. And then we do maybe 100 of the other three. So I think 800, 900 a day. Mm -hmm. So in a week, it's like thousands of yeah. oysters. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, sure. wait, what are these? What are Cracker Jack's oysters? So these I thought are, an oyster these was are, just an oyster. No, no, so we have uh, four different oysters right now. We have uh, our main one. We used to have Emerson. Emerson was our oyster that we had, our house oyster for like, Ooh, for like, I don't know, like 10 years or Here's something. a stupid question. Is that like a style or like a brand or uh, like, like a- Like a breed. A, a breed. breed. Yeah, oh, breed okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So we just changed it breed like, <laughs> we just changed it out like two months ago, I think. So these are also just bred only for us, Cracker Jacks. What? They're, uh, yeah, they're a little briny, a little, a little sweet, nothing too yeah. crazy. The, those are really the oysters I offer to people who are like, oh, I've never eaten oysters before, but I want to like try them out. Those are the ones you give them. They're not mm. pretty mild, yeah. Now do you guys do, are all, also dumb question, so sorry. But are like all oysters like raw or like are there like cooked uh, kinds? So we, we have mostly raw. We do have a cooked oyster called a chartered oyster. It's like a butter that has like a, I think it's like 12 different seasonings in it. And then we just, we grill it. So it's pretty good, yeah. Do you make those seasonings yourself? Or we is do, it like yeah. a pre Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to shift gears a little bit and then we'll come back to the food and drink kind of section. I think um, something that I love talking to business owners about is like hearing how did people get through the last two years, sure. right? Like when business changed, what what kind of strategies did you guys take? What struggles were there? Sure. Um, and, and they could be you know good or bad, just like what was it like during the pandemic for you guys as a business? Sure, yeah, it was a, uh... I got here towards the end of it, you know, when I became the head chef, but I know while, while before I got here, we were doing like takeout only fried chicken that we were getting from the post. So oh, we were like, really? yeah, we were like doing all just takeout only. And then eventually we there, they were able to let us open and then we, they built like a patio out outside and uh, we were able to get a few tables out there, a few tables in here, but it oh, was- So they like extended, yeah, the patio did. that already exists, they extended So it. where they park is now, it was like a whole like- little, Oh, no yeah. kidding. So it was a- uh, they were, you know, trying to figure out how to make it, you know, we, you know, it, it was tough. It wasn't, it wasn't easy for sure. Yeah. So I assume like, were you guys still even getting shipments of like oysters and fish? Yeah. And yeah. Stuff? It was, it was just harder because we had to get in bulk and maybe wouldn't sell it all. So it's kind of, you know, it was a, it was a tough thing to kind of get through, but you know, we, we, we made it. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Do you know how many, roughly how many employees work here? Ooh, I'd that's say a, around like 20 something, 24 maybe? 20 ish? So, yeah. Okay. Um, and then do you know what kind of like, do you guys do any like special events? Do you, I don't know if you guys cater or like, have you ever seen like um, bachelor parties or birthday parties or wedding parties? Like, what what's that? like if somebody is thinking about using jacks yeah for um, any of those things we so our biggest table seats 12 okay you know and uh but usually when they call we'll let them know what we have and we, we definitely try to accommodate wherever we could try to fit people you know sure uh and we, we do do catering we do have a, a somebody we call that does the catering for us and then we can send it out to them so. okay but if it's if it's not a big deal i don't mind i'll drive it myself you know i've done it <laughs> once or twice so. really yeah yeah so uh oh, trying to keep wow. people happy you know when you guys cater is it like um Oysters and yeah, stuff yeah, like oysters. that. Yeah, oh, we have uh, cool. we have something called the Oyster Club. It's on our website. Okay, you can actually sign up for it, and then uh, you can come get the oysters, and we'll give you the oysters with ice and everything, and you shuck them yourself, actually. So, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of cool. Wow. 
Sweet. I feel like that could be like a fun yeah. just group event yeah, yeah. or like for a team or honestly even like a date night. Yeah. More or less. I don't know how fun shucking oysters <laughs> is for a date night. Uh, maybe this is why I struggle in relationships sometimes. But um, And then what about just like are you guys involved in the community or like do you guys do events or like what kind of things do you guys yeah, we do, find uh, yourselves involved we do, in? Uh, I've done three, about three events. We, we did one in Garden of the Gods for the Goodwill Foundation. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So we shucked a bunch of oysters for everyone to come in. And oh, that's add. awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. And then we did the, we actually just did a few months ago was the National, God, what was it? The National Beer something in Denver. It's, okay. Uh, I wish I remember the name of it. But yeah, it's like a bunch of beers. Yeah. So we were just chucking beers oysters, and oysters, beers. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. Well, I n and I noticed the uh, we're talking about the gumbo. Yeah, yeah. We was won. that for um, Mardi Gras? Or uh, something? Yeah, closer to that, that time. We had one third place for the gumbo competition in the Colorado Springs and Manitou area. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was it was good. It was fun. Is gumbo on your menu? It is. Yeah. That's mm. that's one of the ones that we can't we don't change either. Okay. That's Chef Sheila's my boss. She's the chef for all the jacks. Yeah. And uh, that's that's her baby right there. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's we awesome. Mess with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the other thing, as you guys see in the videos, um, is there's also, you know, the centerpiece of this whole place is like right, right when you walk mm -hmm. in, you've got the oysters. What else is that? Crab legs, yeah, it looks like, legs. right? Um, but it's all surrounded by a big bar. bar yep. um, so you guys have like bartenders in there all the time. Because you guys are like afternoon, evening yeah. only, right? Like yeah. not open during mm -hmm. lunchtime. On the weekends? Yeah, weekends too, yeah. Okay. What about on the weekends, not lunch though? Right, uh, same oh, kind no, of yeah, schedule? Oh, yeah, just dinner, 3.30 to... So during the weekdays, it is 3.30 to 9, and weekends is 3.30 to 10. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. is the bar open kind of that whole time? Yeah, it is. And yeah. you guys have, like, unique drinks, like, yeah. pretty pretty good cocktails. Yeah. Just just stuff. like, uh, as I make specials for the kitchen, we have bartenders who make specials for, for, oh. for like, features and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Does that change out very often? Uh, the, the features? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they change them, I think, once a week, or more than that. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Whatever, oh. they, whatever they think of, they let them be creative in there, in that area. Well, mom, if you're watching this, I certainly <laughs> do not ever drink those, but I have heard from reliable sources that they have pretty good cocktails. Pretty, yeah, here. yeah, they're, they're good. And, and great staff too. I mean, the, the time that we came in here, it was like, I think our, um, our waiter switched out like halfway through sure. and it was like, just picked up right where the other one left off and it was a great experience and it felt like it felt like even though we were sitting at a booth, we still had this like personal relationship with the bartender, yeah, right, yeah. which is like, which like feels like it never happens if you're not sitting at the bar. But because of the way this this specific restaurant is shaped, it's small enough that like everyone's kind of like in interacting. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like a lot of like teamwork and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, um, is there anything that we missed? What what am I what am I missing here? Um, oh, we do all day happy hour on Monday, so that's good. We just changed out a couple things. So. Really? Yeah, yeah. So. That's an Do you know off the thing. top of your head like what that entails? In what's it's like just uh, what's what's part of the happy hour? Sure, yeah, we got uh, we do fish and chips. We do uh, we actually just switched into a fish sandwich, which is like a fried Ooh, beer battered nice. fish, and then uh, we do all day happy hour oyster as well. Our uh, I think it's two dollars an oyster, yeah. Okay. For our cracker jacks, yeah. Awesome. Well, Juan, thank you so much. Sure. Um, look, this really is a really really unique place in Colorado Springs. You know, if you're on the coast, there's a million seafood restaurants and it's kind of like six of one, half dozen of the other, LOL to use an oyster kind of <laughs> pun. But in Colorado Springs, in Colorado in general, there are not like seafood no. restaurants. Yep. And not only are we in a good one, we are in the best one. I mean, hands down, this place, it's classy, it's quality, but it's not so classy that like, you feel like you have to be, you're gonna right. drop, you yeah. know, all the dollars and you have to be dressed to the nines or whatever. Like it's got a really great feel to it, a really great vibe. And like I was saying earlier, the staff here is top tier. We've had great customer service every time that we've come in. But thank you. Thank you again, Juan. Yeah. Thank you, Jack's Fish House and Oyster Bar for letting us come in. And uh, if you are going to be trying to come here, make sure that you're keeping an eye out for the weekly emails that we're sending out because we've got some little surprises. We've got some little deals going on with uh, with Jax. So there'll be some things in there that you won't want to miss. So don't miss them. Open those emails. Love you guys. See ya. We're going to go eat some food. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>